I just called it a soft copy. It's called a paperback. What? Jan, I swear. Everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with another book unhaul so without further ado let us get started so for the most part when I unhaul books it's because I gave them three or less stars a rule on my channel is that if I give a book three or less stars I send it back off to the thrift store for somebody else to enjoy more than I will rather than keeping it on my shelf so the first couple of books that I'm gonna show you guys are for that reason so the first one is I Know You Know by Jilly McMillan. This is a thriller. I thought I was going to love it because it includes like podcast elements. I love when books have like podcasts or mixed media or like anything that is not just like text. But I found this to be very average. The ending was super anticlimactic so I don't need to keep it on my shelf when I have other way better thrillers on there already. The next book I have is The Times I Knew I Was Gay by Eleanor Cruz and this one I actually gave a four out of five stars but I just know that I'm never going to pick it up again so I don't really see the point of keeping it on my shelf taking up space when I have so many other books that need shelf space. So this is like a graphic memoir about the times when Eleanor was growing up and trying to learn about her sexuality and discover herself and it also talks about like eating disorders and just like self-confidence in general so I do think it was a really great book but like I said I just need space on my shelves and I know I'm never gonna pick it up again. The next book I have is First Born by Lori Ann Grover and I gave this a two out of five stars I think. I really did not like it. I just was not a fan of the writing style and I thought that the themes that it tried to explore could have been done a lot better and I was honestly bored throughout most of the story so like I said just not a fan don't need it on my shelf anymore the next book I have is actually because the publisher sent me two copies of it and I'm not really sure why but thank you it is when no one is watching by Alyssa Cole this is her thriller book she's usually a romance writer but I actually just finished this book and I gave it a four out of five stars I really enjoyed it but this copy that I got is like ripped here and like fucked up so I figured I'd keep the more prettier copy of it so I'm getting rid of this one. I'm probably going to be giving this to my friend Nicole because she's a reader too and I usually give her first dibs on the books that I'm sending off to the thrift store so if she wants any she usually grabs them so I'm assuming she'll probably grab this one. And then the next books that I have are ones that I bought duplicate copies of during a box sale by accident because I couldn't remember if I had them or not. So I just threw them in the box and then it turns out I have copies of them all. So we're getting rid of them because we don't need two copies of the same book on our shelves. The first one is Firestarter by Tara Sim. This is the last book in the Timekeeper trilogy. And I'm really mad about this one because I saw it on the box sale and I was like, I know that I have one of the books but I can't remember which one it is that I have because I was dumb the last box sale and bought the third book and I knew that I needed the first and second but I couldn't remember what the first and second and third books were called so I just picked it up and then it turns out this is the third book and I already own it so we're getting rid of it. Do I own the first and second books yet? No I do not. Maybe one day we'll actually find a copy of them. Next is Tiger's Destiny by Colleen Hewitt and this is the fourth book in the Tiger's Curse series and I couldn't remember if I had the fourth book. I knew I had the first three but then I was like mm, I do not know if I have that one so I threw it in the box and turns out I have it but I have it in hard copy so you know why not get rid of the soft copy you know. The next one is The Walled City by Ryan Grodin and like I said I already had a copy of this. Um, I got rid of the one that's more beat up but honestly it's not even really beat up it just has like a line down the middle of it which I'm assuming somebody cut the box open and cut the book too but like it'll probably break one day but it's kind of secure right now but I figured I'll keep the one that's not gonna fall apart eventually. And then the last book I have for that particular reason is The One Memory of Flora Banks by Emily Barr. I bought another copy of it but the cover is prettier so I got rid of this one. I don't know if it's good. I know that like a lot of people hauled this book when it first came out because the publisher sent it to like all the huge booktubers but I never saw any of them actually read it and 
say their thoughts on it. So I have no idea if it's good or not, but I mean, now I have two copies. Well, one again because I'm getting rid of this one, but still. And then the final book that I have is also from the box sale, and I'm getting rid of it because I actually already read it. It's Wicked Games by Sean Olin, and I only gave it a 3 out of 5 stars, but I didn't realize that I had already read it when I bought it, but I recognized the cover because I already read it, and so I bought it because I thought I wanted to read it, but I already have, and it was a 3 out of 5 stars, so... All I can remember about it is that it's about this girl who was dating this boy, and then the boy falls in love with somebody else and like cheats on her and then she turns into like a crazy stalker eh, 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 kind of person and she like threatens to like ruin everybody's lives but she was crazy that's all I remember from the book but I gave it a three out of five stars so I clearly didn't like it that much but off to the thrift store goes. Alright everybody, so that was my unhaul for this time around. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!